So one of those self-reliant things out here on the property that we worry about is wildfires. Uh, prairie fires are pretty common in the springtime when it's really dry and there's lots of tall grass that's laid down and doesn't take much, a little spark from a quad or something hitting a rock or someone flicking a cigarette out of their window and all of a sudden you've got uh, a lot of acres that could burn pretty quick. So we want to be able to take care of that ourselves. So, uh, a couple of years ago, I uh, bought this rickety old wagon and, uh, and a thousand liter tote and got myself a cheap little pump and uh, put together sort of a humbug kind of version of a wildfire wagon. Uh, I've recently upgraded it and sort of put it together, so I filmed some of that, uh, putting, it, uh, putting the system together in a, in a more cohesive kind of a way, so I thought I'd share some of that with you and uh, let you see our uh, fire, uh, fire wagon, our wildfire wagon, and uh, show you what it's all about. So that's what we're going to show you in this video. Have a look at the uh, wildfire wagon. So here we go. So there's our pump. That's just a uh, two inch uh, water transfer pump. And I think it does about 9,500 uh, gallons per hour. Um, so it's pretty decent at moving a ton of water fast. So even if we've got flooding out here on the road or something like that in the spring, we can move quite a bit of water um, in a short amount of time, which is pretty handy to have uh, just for that kind of thing. Uh, when it comes to fighting wildfire, it becomes even more important. So it does a really good job and it can pump this thing empty in a pretty short amount of time if you let it. So um, it does work well. Um, 210 cc motor, um, it's just a Honda knockoff uh, pump and uh, yeah it works pretty well. So like I say, this thing got put together in kind of a um, you know humbug kind of way when I first built it and uh, I've uh, done some upgrades to make it a little more permanent, a little more easy to use without a, lot, without a little less fuss uh, when I go to fill it and that sort of thing. So we'll show you some of that footage and then we'll show you how we get the tank filled and how we draw from the lake and how we draw from the tank and uh, go through some of the components of it a little bit more in detail, all right? So let's have a look at that.
Okay, so this is the system as it stands. Uh, we had to get creative with some piping in order to make everything work, but it seems to be running well. So here's what we've got. Uh, for the inlet for the pump, uh, we either run from the tank itself, um, which is controlled by a lever on the tank itself, and that goes into a quick release uh, two inch coupler. That runs through this pipe into this T-junction and into the pump there. Uh, there's a valve here to shut off uh, this one so the water doesn't flow through and it flows into there instead. So that's the, that's the inlet system. If we were running from a lake um, or a pond or something or another tank, we could shut that valve off uh, on the tank and turn this valve on and have the water coming in through here uh, from a lake or something. So that's also how we fill the tank uh, is by having that running out to a pond or something like that. So we'll, we'll fill the tank this way and uh, or, or use the water from a lake or pond and then that one is coming in from the tank itself and feeds the, feeds the pump. So then we'll look at the uh, outlet and uh, see where everything goes after that. Okay, so for the outlet, uh, comes out of the pump into this T and uh, again, to fill the tank, we can uh, turn this valve uh, open and it'll run through this pipe and fill the tank up here. That's, I'm really looking forward to trying that out because uh, I'm really tired of having to hold the hose inside and have to fight it around corners and things. So I think that's gonna work really well for, for um, filling the tank. If you close that valve off and then open this valve, we've got another two inch coupler on the other end where I can uh, hook up either my two inch uh, hose or my one and a half inch fireman's hose uh, to that end. Uh, the fireman's hose and the uh, two inch hose can also be coupled together to give me extra length um, out in the field. You can also, I've got a, uh, um, a garden hose adapter for that one as well. Uh, where we can just uh, hook up a garden hose to that and have a little better pressure coming out of the garden hose uh, for watering plants and that sort of thing. So that's the setup, that's the plumbing. So in the front of the wagon, we've got this um, little box uh, that carries a bunch of the accessories and things that uh, we need to sort of get this thing working. So in here, we have just a uh, standard uh, garden hose, good for watering and that sort of thing, but also gives you a little extra length if you, uh, if you need it uh, out trying to battle some fires and things like that. So um, just a regular garden hose, I think it's uh, 75 foot or 100 foot, I'm not sure. Then we've got, uh, this is the strainer for uh, the main draw hose uh, that goes into a lake or a pond. Uh, that allows you to pull water from a lake or pond. So this is just a little strainer that keeps uh, that from sucking weeds and rocks and things like that into the pump, which you don't want. So that's just got a quick uh, attach on it. Then we've got a uh, 50 foot, uh, two inch hose. And then we've got a 75 foot uh, fireman's hose, which is a one and a half inch uh, fireman's hose and that's got a standard uh, fire um, sort of spigot on it um, and then you've got a uh, quick connect on that so you can connect the two inch hose and the one and a half inch hose together to get more length or you can run them separately in different directions at the same time as well so then we've got that's a uh, fireman's uh, 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 spigot or whatever for uh, for the two inch hose um, and then we've just got a bucket uh, to, uh, sometimes the pump needs to be primed, so if you've just got a bucket to, you know, fill the little priming thing, sometimes that works pretty well. Uh, just to get it started, and then just some tools to uh, pull the spark plug on the pump if you need to do that or whatever else. So, we also have the adapter for the garden hose, and again, just on a quick connect. That's pretty much it for that little box and uh, some of the extra things that we keep inside.
Well, there you go folks that's our wildfire wagon gives us a little peace of mind when it's dry out here and there's lots of tall grass and lets us do a little watering as well so uh, click like if this is something you like and uh, click subscribe if you want to see more videos like this let me know how you might improve something like this in the comments or if you've made something like this and uh, you got some good ideas let me know uh, we'll uh, see you on the next one